What it do, Blizz Gang? It's your boy Tay Blizz, and I'm coming to y'all with another lit video. If you have not seen my last video, make sure y'all go check that out. The link will be in the description. But today, we're going to be doing a mid taper. Uh, it's going to be a banger, man. I just got to sit through the whole video. Uh, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure y'all share me on y'all social medias, man. I'm just trying to blow. I'm trying to blow. I'm trying to show y'all good cuts. But look, though, we're going to jump in. We're going to start off by hitting them with that ball line. And then we're going to clean everything up under there. We're just going to clear everything out. I promise y'all, this video is going to be straight fire. As I said and I edited this video, I cannot believe the way how this haircut turned out. Um, my client do, my client do got a little, like, alopecia. So if you see any, like, um, I'm not going to say bald, but, like, light areas, light patchy areas. That's what that is. Uh, I don't want anybody to get in, in their head that I, you know, cut a patch in his head or anything. But now I, I done went in with my trimmers, lever open. And I went up about a half an inch with my lever open. And then I'm just going to start closing my lever as needed to just to get out that ball line that we set in with the trimmers. Now I'm going to come in with my one guard, lever open. And I'm just going to keep going around in like a rainbow-like shape. Uh, I want to give it more of like a, a, a burst effect uh, as I get up higher in the hair. So so that's why you'll see that um, it may look like I'm using my full blade, but I'm really just using those corner two to three teeth just to get that rainbow look, looking like shape that I'm uh, going for. All right, so then I'm going uh, I'm gonna take my three guard and now I'm just going to go up to the top uh, right there where the bulk is and I'm just trying to not necessarily set a guideline, but just take that bulk off right there. Now with my two guard on, I'm really just trying to go in and uh, flick out the area where you can see like all the, the bulk line at before. Um, my two guard really wasn't getting it how, how I wanted it to. So uh, I grabbed my, my one and a half guard, <clears throat> lever open. So that's necessarily still a two. Um, so now you can see as I keep hitting at it with uh, my corners, you're going to see it start to lighten up. All right, so now jumping back to the bottom of the fade. Uh, right here, I want to throw in my half guard. Really, I like to call this my uh, my detailing guard because uh, when I go in and do all my detail work, I really like to use my uh, my .5 guard. So uh, I'm going to start out by with the lever open. Uh, I'm just going to hit it that, that bottom guideline between the lever open and the one guard uh, all the way open. And... Uh, this 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 point five guard is really bringing this that fade all the way together. All right, y'all. Now we are on to the back. Uh, same steps that we used on the side. Same steps that we're gonna use on the back. Um, first, we're gonna we're gonna start off by setting our guideline, our ball line. Um, on the back, you can see more of uh, what I was talking about in the beginning. Uh, where you can see like the light spots in his hair. Um, I know it could easily be uh, misinterpreted as uh, cutting patches in his head, but I want y'all to go ahead and see that that was not your boy Tay Blends. But as you guys can see in the video, I done went in with my clippers, uh, lever fully open. Uh, I set my first guideline in, and now I'm closing my lever as I go down just to get rid of that first initial guideline. Uh, now I'm gonna throw in my one guard, lever open again. Uh, I'm going up about a half an inch, just like I did on the side. Um, then we're gonna uh, jump right into our, our one five uh, lever open. Uh, on the back, he really didn't have that much uh, overhang over over the taper area like he did on the side. So I, I felt comfortable to go ahead and come on in with my uh, my one and a half guard. Um, I will still go ahead and fade it into the afro some more though, but I feel like I can go ahead and jump in it with my one five. Uh, as you can see now, I got my, my three guard on. And if you're looking at it from this, uh, the angle that I'm looking at it from, you can see it naturally formed with the shape of his head now. Uh, before, it was still sticking out both. Uh, but I feel like it's coming together real well. So now I got my one guard back on. 
uh, lever open, just doing a little detail work in the dark spots that I see. Going back through the fade, doing detail work is what separates you from other barbers. Not every barber uh, really really cares about the the way their clients leave, but if you come uh, come to Tape Blends, Tape Blends gonna get you right every time. All right, I'm not gonna bore y'all and tell y'all the same steps that we did on the uh, back side and the right side. So, uh, while I let this side roll through, everybody who watching this video, I would really appreciate if you guys to make sure you like this video. If you think this is a dope haircut so far, make sure you give this video a like. Uh, if you if you think there's some things that I did wrong or could have did better, in, please leave those comments in the um, in the comment area. I, I will read those. I will take all. Uh, constructive criticism. I'm just trying to get better as a barber. I'm only 21. Uh, hopefully by the time I'm 30, I can look back at these videos and, you know, just grow from it. That, that's all we're trying to do uh, in today's life. Just grow. Um, you know, the sky's the limit. All right, so I didn't get to capture it on camera, uh, but I did uh, wipe the hairline down with 90% uh, alcohol uh, and then came behind it with uh, with my spritz holding spray. Um, I sprayed it along all the edges of the hairline. And as you can see, the crispy lines that it's leaving behind. Um, these trimmers, these trimmers were actually just in my cabinet laying down. Like, I forgot what kind of hitters these were. Um, the gold blade, I, I recently just got that off Amazon. Uh, and I must say, like, I, I would never buy the, um, the regular silver blades again, because this blade is the absolute truth, I promise you. You guys could just see how it's hitting. One tap and go. So right now, we're going to get into the C-cups. Uh, my main focus with this client was making sure that, uh, everything was even. Uh, one side of his hairline was a little bit, uh, well, one of his vertical bars was actually longer than the other one. So in this video, I just wanted to make sure that I tried to get both of those as symmetrical as possible. I believe it, I think it was this one, if, if I'm not mistaken, this one was the, uh, the one that was a little bit higher than the other one. But as you can see, I'm getting the C cups, real nice and symmetrical. Uh, when I rotate them back, you'll be able to see, uh, well, you'll be able to kind of see that they're both on they are. They're pretty aligned. 
All right, breaking into the middle line. You want to start off in the middle. And uh, like I said, the side on my left, it was higher. So I went in going to my left side first, just so um, I can go ahead and line that side up. And now I'm going to uh, go across to make the right side symmetrical to the left. So now that everything's crispy with the lineup, my boy did want to enhance this because like I said, he did have uh, some light spots. Just like you can see the spot right there, uh, right there by the corner. Um, I'm going in with my business card, just lightly spraying. Uh, I want it to still look as natural as possible. I am going to double up on the um, enhancements. I want to add fibers on top of the spray. Uh, I feel like with the fibers on top of that, it knocks the shine off the off the spray that it leaves um, and I help I feel like that helps leave more of a natural look to it rather than if I just left the spray uh, it will give off that shiny effect all right and here's what I tell you that I doubled up on my fibers so when I spray my fibers, I want to still have my card uh, not exactly on the hairline, just off a little bit, uh, so the hair, so the uh, fibers can get on the forehead a little bit. So when I come behind it with my trimmers, I'm just gonna um, push the fibers back to the hairline, so the fibers can be all the way to the edge of the hairline, rather than if I try to spray them in in the line. So after I've sprayed them in, I'm going to come behind with my trimmers. Uh, and I'm not using the trimmers that I originally lined them up with. I'm using the trimmers that I use to set my ball lines in, just because they these are not as sharp. Uh, you don't want to um, keep using your sharp trimmers on them. Uh, it can bruise your skin. Dog, this is just crispy. Just, just look at it. Whew. Product of Tay Blends, y'all. Tay Blends, remember my name. It'll be big one day. Come here, hit that mustache. This is really just adding the finishing touches onto this haircut. But if you guys like this haircut, Y'all definitely let me know down in the comments because I will definitely drop more bangers just like this one right here, man. I really appreciate all the support. Anybody who watch my videos. 2023, it's going to be my year, y'all. And bam. I got my boy in there. Uh... I'm not the best barber in the world. Uh, I, I could definitely tell y'all that I have things that I need to work on, but just <laughs> look at my client's reaction, man. You love it. This is definitely a banger. But yeah, we getting better all year. But I please, 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 I thank y'all. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.